Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are continuing our playthrough of the casting of Frank Stone. This is part four of our playthrough, so if you haven't checked out the previous three episodes, I'd recommend doing so as always because this is a very story heavy game. It of course takes place in a world of Dead by Daylight. And in the last episode, we were playing as Linda and her friends as we were trying to make the original Murder Mill film, which is said to be haunted and causes people who watch it to kind of go crazy and attack each other. And it has some kind of like supernatural properties to it. We found the room where Frank Stoner died at the old mill and we actually used the camera that we had acquired from the mysterious woman in the thrift store to resurrect him by accident. So then he came back, he killed, hey me, he actually died. I didn't keep him alive guys, so apologies for that, he's now dead. And uh, we then come back to the present time where Linda, along with Madison, the daughter of Bonnie, one of her friends from her childhood, and some other people are in the house of Augustine Libra who's a woman who's trying to acquire all the pieces of the murder mill film so she can put it back together and do something kind of suspect with it, I assume. And then Sam, the sheriff who originally killed Frank Stone, showed up and basically surprised us all. He's still alive, he's now in England, and also investigating this house and the uh, murder mill film. So that's basically the story so far as of the last episode, but I would recommend checking it out if you are a bit lost as to what's happening. With that said, we're gonna continue right where we left off, so let's dive back in and continue the casting of Frank Stone. Huh? Was this locked before? So we're following Stan playing as Madison. Hey, hey hold up a sec! Stan! Well, wait, let's just see if we can do anything down here first. I always like to explore, guys. Wait, what's that? Oh. A door. It's locked. We can't go through it. Can we go through this one? Nope. They're all locked up. So he went this way. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, wait. What's this? A TV. Where'd he go? This uh, examiner. Why is this here? I just turned it off. Should I have done that? Was that a... Uh, was that the smart thing to do? I don't know. The game gave me the option to turn the TV off, so I did. Oh, wait. Maybe go back this way now? Wait, the room's changed. What the heck? <laughs> the house is changing around us. Stan! You want a bathroom break or something? We gotta find him. Which way did he go? Maybe this way? I don't know. We'll go Stan! downstairs. Maybe we can escape the house. Just leave. Ooh, wait, what is this? This looks like a lab or something from Resident Evil. This is kind of cool. What? What is this? Is this a, like a way of going back in time or something? Because in the last episode, Chris got sucked through his portal, didn't she? What the heck is this place? It's very strange. Yeah? Obviously, like, harnessing some kind of, like, energy. Wait, is this gonna be Chris? Is someone actually in there? I think that's Chris, guys. Who's she got in sucked there? into the portal. I think she's gonna kind of come like back some sort of pattern. in this uh, time period now. That's awesome. So how do we do this? Select. Ah, here we go. So we've got to line it up, I think, guys. I really need to shut this thing down. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to shut it down. Is this right? I don't think this is right, guys. Okay, that made something happen. Hey, that's, that's done good. it. I think. Okay, so we deactivated hey, one of the rings, I think, or maybe we didn't. Please, somebody! I think that's Chris, Hold guys. On. I think Chris is trapped in there. Knew every super rich All these years later. This in their house. All right, let's pull this. All right, that does not work. We cannot do anything with that right now. Let's go around to the other side. Let's try this one. Oh yeah, this one's lit up. We can probably uh, use this one. There we go. Okay, that's one ring deactivated, I think. There we are. We're getting somewhere. Got to do two more now. Oh, it's reset. Like something from a sci-fi flick. Yep, but probably uh, actually dangerous, you know? <laughs> As it's real. 
We don't want to try and walk through there. I wonder if we actually get diced up if we try and walk through it, and then her character's just dead. Okay, we're cooking now. Two more of those ring thingies to go. All right, let's try it. I honestly don't know what we're doing here. I'm just gonna like mess with them until I line something up. Is that right? Maybe that? That looks right. And then get the last one. Like this. Nice, we did it. Just hang in there. I I'm I'm gonna get you out. Okay, we've got to go to this one next. Jump. Okay, grab this. Uh, whatever happened to a good old-fashioned on-off switch? I know, right? Would have been far simpler, wouldn't it? Okay, one more to go. Tell me. The last one. Okay, let's go back. Is it this one? That looks right. And then we've got to line these ones up. That might be right. I don't know. What the hell are you planning, Augustine? Yeah, I think this is right, guys. We just need to line these up correctly now. So that would be right. And then get this one lined up. And we've done it. Here we go. That's the final one. We can get the heck out of here. How are you doing in there? Oh, dumb question, Maddie. Okay, let's jump across. Pull the final lever. Nice. I don't know. Okay, we need to... Oh, God. That isn't good. Let's try and um, hit the emergency override or whatever that switch is. <laughs> Grab it. Go! Faster! Nice! I wonder what happens if we fail that. Probably something bad, right? Okay, successfully vented the energy into the... Uh, oh, I couldn't read what that is. Hologram or something? I don't know. But we've, uh, we've opened it up. Let's see if this is Chris. Hey, it is! I knew that would be Chris. She's travelled through time. She hasn't aged a day. That's kind of cool. She's like, who the heck are you? And then Madison is the daughter of her friend Bonnie, of course, which is really crazy. All right, I think we've traveled back in time again now. Back to the 1980s. Cedar Hills. Cedar Hells, as they call it there. looking for something like who's what's he actually looking for I thought he would uh, go and find his dad are you all right whoa, whoa. what's wrong young man uh, nothing I uh... let me help you I I'm fine it's nothing but you look as if something I'm just looking for my dad uh, the sheriff the sheriff yeah have you seen him Oh, well, uh, yes. Do not trust the old woman. Uh, where? Uh, here and there, now and then. He does have a way of showing up in the strangest of places. Wait, how long ago was he here? Just, just now, or what? Uh, it was more than a minute, less than a lifetime. <laughs> That's really helpful. It's just what we wanted to sure. hear. Okay, thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's of course I'll Augustine. Sure to tell him you're looking for him. She's somehow old back in the 80s, but younger now. She can take on many forms, it seems. Oh, here we go. Mystery Manor continued. We've gone back to the present day again. Playing as Linda now. Pretty sure they came down this way. I uh, wouldn't be sure of anything in this place. How did she get you here, Linda? What did she offer you? Demanding, sorry you still owe me some answers, or somber, she promised me freedom. I'll be somber. She promised me freedom. 
freedom? Every single day since we made that movie has been torture. The dreams. Uh, I don't get a lot of sleep. I used to channel it into my films. Like a badge of honor. But 30 years of this. I'm sure it was no different for, uh, for Robert with his piece. And Augustine said if you give her your film strip. I can't destroy it. Augustine's my way out. And she wants the other two pieces as well. Stans and the other girls. Her name's Maddie. She's Bonnie's daughter. Bonnie's... What? Hard to believe. I know. Till you take a good look at her. Spitty image. I wish I would have stayed in touch with Bonnie. And now it's too late. Too late. Bonnie just recently passed. It's how Maddie inherited her piece of the film. Huh. That's... That's too bad. Okay, let's go. What did you mean when you said all of this is because of Cedar Hills? I said it's because of what happened in Cedar Hills. And what still happened. <gasps> oh. What is it? Oh, nothing. Nothing. It's find passing him. out. Uh, find him all in. Gotta find him before his, his skies are folding in again. And it's, uh, uh. Uh, I'm gonna go in the pouch. I don't know if I should have gone for the... Oh, God. What the heck? I failed it. I failed it, guys. No, I failed the skill check. Take it easy. Over. Sam, you don't seem okay. We gotta find Augustine now. I think you should take a minute. I'll be fine. Now, are you gonna help me find Augustine, or are you just gonna get in my way? Supportive, I'll help you, Sam. Or resistant, you're not making it very easy. I'll say I'll help him. I wish we'd been able to poach. What was in that I think pouch? I something was wrong I before I got failed here. the skill check, though. Yes, I just wanted to see it for myself. I'll help you, Sam. Whatever Augustine's up to, I don't think it's good. Okay, so our relationship right. goes up with Sam. That's good. Maybe it's good that we didn't take what was on him. It could have resulted in a bad ending. You know, if he has something on him that he needs and we didn't take it. I don't know. Where's he gone? Sam? He just vanish? Sam. Into thin air? Sam? Oh no. Hello? Hey, where the hell did you go? I kind of wish I got whatever was Sam, in that pouch now. But I screwed it up. Find Sam. This is like the film archive or something. There's loads of reels of celluloid everywhere. Search the archive. Uh, we don't need to look at this that. Is Certainly something. Can I use the ladder? Nope. This is kind of cool though. The environments in this game are like really stunning. I'm just going to check everywhere. So oh, what is this? The heck? That's weird. Fake prop arm. Oh, that was from our murder mill film. And there's the t-shirts from it. Interesting. So she's been collecting all the memorabilia from Murder Mill. I'm assuming she thinks it's going to come in handy somewhere. Theater carnage blamed on sick flick. A, a screening of the film Murder Mill. Wait, this screening never happened. What is this? The plot thickens. Nothing else down there. Anything in here? Oh, yeah, look. Oh, the Just nurse killer. Thought, things couldn't get weirder. That's cool. That's creepy. Ah! Screw you. Wait, what's happening to it? I don't know what's happening there, guys. It, its hand came to life. 
But that's the nurse killer from Dead by Daylight. That's kind of cool that we found that. I'm not really good at playing with the nurse, but she is a cool killer. All right, let's check out this uh, little film reel here. This little projector. So that's a scene from the film I think they made. Bonnie didn't act in this scene. It was Chris. Huh. Maybe she's just misremembering it. This isn't right. Oh, damn. <sighs> okay, that is not what we shot. It's like trapping the souls of the people in the film. Alternate movie scene. Augustine has another version of the scene shot by Linda. Huh. She's been recreating the film. Maybe that's how she's been killing everyone off. What the heck? She's got loads of prints of Murder Mill. Like every copy of film in here is from Murder Mill. So strange. So why does she want our version? Yeah, they're all... They're all the same film. She's just been buying them up all across the world. Hey! 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 Relax. Where did you disappear to? Have you seen to? all this? What do you mean? Have you seen what Augustine's been doing? Something's wrong. Like... Very, very wrong. I think you're starting to see what we're up against. And unfortunately, I'm starting to think we might be too late. Come on. Stop. I'm not taking one more step until you tell me exactly what the fuck is going on here. And don't even think about saying one word short of the absolute truth, you hear me? The truth can be a slippery subject. Sam! Look, I'm sorry, Linda. But I just don't think I'm able to give you what you want. I take no pleasure in any of this. There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. There's no gratitude, no gold watch. It's just sort of a higher calling. It's just got to be done. <laughs> God, you're so full of it. I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No, you won't be straight with me, fine. But I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old, but you're barely older than me. How does that make any sense? He's traveled through the portal, hasn't he? So what are you implying? I'm saying you might be Sam Green, but you're not the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. You're someone else, aren't you? I think he's the same person, but I think he's travelled through that portal that Chris just travelled through. But then, if Chris travelled through a portal just now, how was she still in the film with Linda back then? For every path taken, there exists another. Taken by a shadow self. Another reality. Another world. Worlds so close, they bleed together. Do you see? The timelines I chose were special, the bleed strong, the entity straining against the edges of our world. I didn't need Frank Stone's mortal vessel after all. I only needed the most perfect versions of his essence, trapped on celluloid, projected at 24 frames a second. Frank Stone will be reborn. Oh, great. Well, we saw that last episode. He came back to life, didn't he? We had to sort of dispel him with a camera. Descent of the Damned with Back in the Mill in 1980. It's going to get juicy now. Playing as Linda when she was younger. 
All right, in the admin building. And this is creepy. I guess we got to squeeze through this wall. Here we go. Where is everyone? That's what I want to know. What's this? Oh, can we go through here? Yeah. Little shortcut. We go in the locker? No. All right, let's try um, crawling through. I don't know if this is the way we're meant to go or not, but. Surely there's a way to the other side. It's gotta be. Hmm. Oh, wait. What's this? A key? Yeah. Always need one of these. Okay, item added key. Now, where do we use the key is the question. Maybe we go back where we've come. That would make sense, right? Oh, wait. Can we go down here? Yeah, look. We can slip through here, guys. Nice. Okay. Uh, I guess we just follow this round. Jump this. And here's the, the door. I think we can probably go through this now. Nice. Okay. Where to next? What is this? Like a pressure meter? If I fix these boilers, that should shut off the leak. Gotta try and find the parts. Gotta be around here someplace. Find the parts of the boiler. Those steam jets are gonna burn my face off. But that's my only way out. It's okay. We'll have a look around, we'll find what we need. Hopefully. Maybe go back to where we came, guys. There's got to be uh, a valve around here somewhere. <clears throat> oh, check the lockers. Use item. We've got the key. Let's use that. Can open up the locker. Nice. Okay, what do we see in here? Oh, it's a note. Whoever's locker this was had some serious issues. This is my darling Franklin Norman. It upsets me when you don't write back. If you aren't sick, you needn't be withdrawn with me. Tell me everything, my dear. You know whatever happens, I'll always be here for you. Nothing in the world could ever stop me from loving you. I will always be in your life. Three weeks ago, you told me making friends was hard. I can sympathize my love. Precious few are ever worth making. Every time they open their mouths, all you can feel is insects crawling under your skin. Every vapid look forces you to nod and smile and pretend we're listening to what they say. Huh. Okay, yeah, someone with issues right there. Grandmother's letter. Frank was left psychologically vulnerable. Okay. Oh, here's a valve handle. We need that, so let's take that. One to go. One more to find. Where would it be? Check the sinks. Would it be in the sinks? Say it's not in the urinals, please. Oh, it's here. Right, we got it. Me, buddy. Take that. Okay, now we head back, guys. Let's shut off that uh, that steam. We can make our way through. All right, so one valve here. Place it in. And uh, just turn it. Can't waste time. That sounds promising. That's doing its thing. Next one. There we go. Alright, it shut off the steam. We're good. Now hopefully it doesn't reactivate as we try and make our way through there. So I'm going to run as fast as I can just get through. Nice. Okay, we're on the other side. We're safe. Safe for now at least. Find a way back to the others is our new objective. Let me just check under the stairs for any secrets. Always have a little look. But what the heck is that sound? I don't like the way the base just dropped then. The environments are so cool in this game, I love it. It is like playing a Silent Hill or something. Don't see anyone. Hello? Which way? This way? Oh, what's that? Inspect, what is that? Merlin. Oh, it's the dog's collar. 
He's probably long dead. God. If I ever get out of this maze, I'm gonna take Bonnie's advice and leave Cedar Hills. See New York. Fall in love. Fall out of love. Just live a little. That's pretty smart. Oh man, it's so claustrophobic down here. Now we're crawling through the little crawl space. I hate tight spaces. Same. I barely breathe. I would hate this right now, guys. That claustrophobia coming in uh, in full force. There's the exit. Hopefully. <laughs> Might not be. Okay, where are we now? Oh, the other side of those lockers. Surely we could have just climbed those. Instead of <laughs> crawling through that really narrow space. There's so many different ways to go. Oh, there's a ladder leading outside. Let me just check. Have a little explore. I feel like maybe we shouldn't be going this way. I don't know. Oh, secret room though. I assume it's secret. Got a little diary here. It's Frank Stones. Oh man, what are we gonna find inside this? Fuck. This is Frank Stone's journal. November 12th, 1962. I have not heard from her. I did as instructed, but for weeks I have been left alone. Have I failed? Did I not perform my purpose as I was told? Five names I have taken, but I feel no closer to the path. Every night I dream of a forest, of the darkness all around me. I'm afraid, too scared to move forward or cry out, because it stands beyond the fog. Sometimes I can see the shapeless forms writhing in the flames, like snakes. The hiss of their screams burns my ears. If they are evil, why do they scream? How am I to know evil alone? How can I be sure all of Cedar Hills has not been lost to sin? Should I not just destroy them all, purge the town completely? I will not act without instruction. I stand alone in the forest, waiting to reach the other side. If I cry out, I will be lost. I will wait. Huh. He was uh, obviously under the influence of somebody, maybe Augustine Libra, uh, getting him to do some unspeakable things, you know, taking the lives of people, including infant children back then. Pretty dark. But what was that? Look. Look at what. Oh god. Alright. He's drawn some like sick twisted thing on the wall there. Can I leave? Oh my god, this This place oh, is wow. so fucked. We discovered his old nest. Our fate has been changed. I, Dwight Allen Parker, write this as my last will and testament. The last time anybody saw me was 16th of February 1963. I spent the afternoon drinking with Rusty, Daryl and a few of the other guys down at Cedar Creek. By the time it started to get dark, I was pretty wasted, and when Rusty tried to get me to move my butt, I got kinda mad and shoved him, which was dumb. Brother, have I paid for it. Rusty got mad and left. So did the other guys. Guess they figured I'd sleep it off and find my own way home. I don't know how long I was asleep for, but when I woke up there was this guy there, a big tall guy. It was real dark but I could see him staring at me, cold mean eyes, looking right through me. Well, that's gonna be Frank Stone isn't it? So that's somebody that fell victim to Frank. And what's this? Ooh. What the, the hell doctor. Are these things? So, you know, this is obviously... Another doll from the uh, Dead by Daylight game. Another killer. Again, I'm not very good at playing with a doctor. I don't really like him, but I think some people swear by him. Anyway, let's go. We leave through here now? Yep, we can oh. indeed. Back where I started? Okay then. Alright, let's keep going this way, guys. Go up the ladder now. Exit. I think we found all the secrets down there. <laughs> Oh man, but we're back in the furnace room now. Just for a place I didn't want to be. Guarantee we're going to see the entity in that room. Okay, in the house of madness, we're back in present time now. 
Chris emerges from a portal. We look very much alike, so she'd recognize us. What is... What is this? It's okay. It's okay. You're... Not... Bonnie? No, I... Um... Bonnie was my mom. Did you know her? Uh, she's my boyfriend's sister. I'm gonna be confused. Your mom? Your mom? But that's... How is that possible? You're talking about Bonnie Rivera, right? Yes, yeah, she was... She was just here, but we, we, we were... Ugh. My mom died a few weeks ago. No. No, 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 no. We were in the mill. We were just shooting. We just finished the movie. What the hell? Wait, is it powering back up now? Great. I would get out of there. Oh, Stan. Screw you, Stan. I actually want to kill Stan. If we get the option to, I'll, I'll make sure he dies. Because I know you guys don't like him either. Everyone's been saying in the comments, Stan's a, like a, a moron, basically. Who the fuck is she? After I lost you, I, I found this place and she was just here. How'd you get here? I, I don't know. I, I think I was brought here. Why? I don't know! Stan. You don't want to be here. Trust me. You came here in this? I, I think so. Do you think it can also take you back? I gotta try or don't make me go back. Don't make me go back. Please, no. Don't make me go back. If I go back there, it'll kill me. Hey, it's okay. Nobody's making you do anything. I'm not going back. But, uh, right now, it's not so safe here either. We should go. Our relationship with Madison has improved now, though. I don't think that's a good idea. Whoever came after me is still out there. Uh, we gotta go find Linda. Linda? Do you know Linda? Linda Castle? Ah, oh, I get it now. You're a diehard, huh? You follow her here? Follow her? No, we came here together. Sure, you did. Where is she? I need to see her. Look, I don't usually like to get involved in any weirdo stalkery kind of shit, but be persuaded to make introduction the price is right shut up man you're a freak oh yeah i did that on purpose guys i did that on purpose i wanted him to die screw that guy i'm glad he's dead i have to listen to him one more second now that was a intentional blunder I'm kind of glad. Although we have lost two of our main characters now. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. The entity has arrived. That looks like Augustine's outfit though. Strange. I'm so glad Stan is dead now, guys. We don't have to listen to him. We don't have to, you know, tolerate him for one more second. He was a creep. He was a scammer. He was a fraud. And he was pretentious too, so... Yeah, he's dead. All paths must cross. We're back in 1980. The great thing about these games is, you know, you can make the choices you want. And, you know, no two stories are the same. You know, you, there's lots of different ways you can play it. Like, we could have chosen to go back and seen what happened if we went back. Linda! <laughs> Bonnie! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, hey, hey, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We're all gonna die here. There's no way to escape. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Bonnie, I'm so sorry. He's... He's mi hermanito, and he's gone. Are, are you... I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. How are you so calm right now? I'm not. But I know that the only way we're gonna get through this is if we can just keep it together. Just for a little while. What is that thing out there? No idea. But I know it's bad news. And we gotta get as far away from it as possible. Great idea. 
So how the fuck do we do that? There's the storm drain. It could get us out. If we're lucky, we might be able to find a way in from this chamber. Oh great, the entity's back. It's coming. Frank Stone. Oh, we've gone back again. 12, closing the noose. That was a really short chapter. <laughs> Didn't that chapter just start? I don't see anything. It's so weird. Our fate has changed. Are you okay? I I I'm a little less uh, swimmy, but that guy just died right in front of us. Yeah. I don't care. Kind of happy about it. Was he your friend? I didn't know him very well, and he was kind of a pain in the butt, but yep. he seemed okay. He didn't deserve that. Yeah, he did. No one deserves that. He absolutely deserved it. I may. What? If you're feeling a little better, maybe you can tell me about where you came from. What you can remember. Maybe it can help. Wait, you said Linda was here? Linda Castle? Yeah, she is. We've got to find her. Please, she's my friend. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go look for Linda. Alright. Time to find Linda. So, uh, is Linda looking for me? I don't think she knows you're here. At least, she didn't mention it. Oh, but I, I, I was just with her. Hmm. You were? I... I thought I was. I, I don't know. It, it's all kind of broken up and... Hey, don't worry about it right now. Let's just keep moving. Where do we go, guys? Where do we go? Not this way. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, maybe here? Yeah. Wow, an actual normal room. I'll be damned. What is this? A little locket? <laughs> Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. Wait, wait, I, I know this. D this was... No, no, I can't. Can't what? This belonged to one of Frank Stone's victims. Frank Stone? A killer. From the mill? But what is it doing here? I've seen it too. There was a book here that explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. I didn't even think it was real, but... So, should, like, one of us wear it? For protection? I'm gonna wear it. I don't really care so much about Chris. I, I want to protect Madison. She's, like, the best Maybe character. Maybe I should wear it for a little while. Then, you know... If I die, we'll know it's bullshit. I don't know if we should wear it though, that actually might kill us. She thinks we're being selfish. Yeah, honestly, I don't know if um, if it was smart to wear that or not. Maybe we should have given it to Chris. Wait, what's this? Find the key for the box, okay. Got a book here. It's boring. Still, can't judge a book by its cover. Hidden meanings, the changing nature of language often results in a lack of modern consensus on the etymology of certain place names, even those that seem patently obvious may be hiding a myriad of meanings. So language changes over time, gets lost to time. Oh, there's the key on the other page. Hello. Now that's not boring. Okay, let's put that down. I didn't actually read that, guys, but you can... um. You can read that if you like, you pause the video, you can see what was on that page. But we've got the key now, we can wind the music box. Let's do that. Use item. Wind it. There we go. It's another Dead by Daylight killer I've just realised. That's cool, the knife guy, I can't remember his name. I never play as him. Whoa. 
Secret passage. Secret passage, nice. Let's go down. Yeah, sure. A secret passage. Why not? I'm kind of worried we put that pendant on, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, Madison could befall a terrible fate because we wore that thing. Okay. Progress has been made. Can we go through here? Oh, that's to leave. Okay, I don't want to leave quite yet. What's in here? Oh, what's this? This is Dr. Augustine Lieber conducting court-mandated psychological session 5 with patient Frank Stone. March 28th, 1961. Wait, that's I hear Augustine. Had a bad week since our last but 1961? Frank. An attack. That's on an over orderly. 60 years ago. Perhaps we could salvage this. Tell me, do you ever feel as though you have a higher calling? This instinct of yours to inflict pain on others to punish them i don't believe it is wholly errant these sessions are all about taking responsibility frank not just for your past but for your future too yes you have a future and it could be boundless you simply have to trust me. So she was basically manipulating Frank, as we thought. Getting him to do her bidding. Uh, is there anything else here? Ooh. Got another twins one. Creepy. The twins. That's just a fact. Strange. <laughs> oh, God. All right, that actually scared me a little bit. What the heck? I was not expecting that. Oh, and a collectible. 11 of 12 trinkets. I don't know how many we've collected now. Can't go that way. Okay, we've got to head back. I think we've got maybe like 7 or 8 of the 12 trinkets. So we have missed a few. Let's actually check. We can see here, guys, how many we've collected. Actually, we've got most of them. We've only missed two along the way. Huh. I wonder if you get a better ending if you collect all of them. Probably do, right? All right, let's go through here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Although, not good if you want your privacy. <laughs> People just looking in there all the time. Is that like a giant TV? <laughs> I don't know if that was a giant TV. Probably not. Oh, it is. Wow. Yeah, that's a plasma and a half. What's that, like a 400-inch screen or something? Be good for watching the football, you wouldn't need it? need to understand. Why should I? I don't even know you. Linda! Where's Stan? He's dead. Where's Chris as well? What? Ah, that fucking moron. How can you say that? He was a person and he's dead. Yes. We should tell you something about how serious this situation really is. For all of us. Stan tried to warn us about you. And now he's dead. For all I know, you're responsible. Believe me. I didn't like that man, but... I'm not inclined to believe a word you say. You are not Sam Green. You are not from Cedar Hills. I will admit, time, distance, and a great deal more than you could know are between us. But whoever I am to you, you can trust me. You have to. Give me one good reason. You've seen Augustine's archive. She's not just collecting every piece of the film you made. She's collecting every piece of that film that could have ever potentially existed. What is that even supposed to mean? Uh, resistant, you can't prove any of this, or supportive, I think Sam might be right. I'm gonna say I think Sam might be right. I don't know if I would have said this an hour ago, but after what I just experienced, I think Sam might be right. Augustine's lying to us. Whatever she's up to here, it's way, way over our heads. You should have seen this chamber and the girl. I don't trust Augustine, but I trust this man even less. At least whoever Augustine is, she's not pretending to be someone from your past. Linda? Linda! That's gotta be weird, seeing your friend, like, aged, like, 25 what? years or something. What happened? We were in the mill and... What? You're so old! 
cold! Gee, thanks. Oh boy. This, uh... This kind of thing... It, it can happen. Sometimes. Wait. A giant projector, guys. That's the original is this film. The movie you made? Yeah. It is. Technically, I'm the director. Christmas present at the screening, fate changed. You got your piece of the film strip? Yeah. Alright, let me see it. What's so important about these film strips? Maddie? I need to see the actual film. What? Where is it? Oh no. Did it get swiped? No, 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 no. It was right here. It, it was right in here. What happened to Stan's piece? Did, did any of you see it? What happened to it? It must still be in his pocket. On his body. It's gonna be pretty, uh, covered in blood if it is. I don't know. I just don't know. Augustine's pulling a lot of strings here. She's been a million miles ahead of us. Hey! You get what you wanted? You done with this fucking game? Why is she making us watch the film? Hmm. Maybe something's happened on this version of the film that didn't happen in their reality originally or something? I don't know. Or maybe by playing the film it changes the past. That would be crazy. Murder Mill, Chapter 13. Things are heating up. Oh no, he's back. We're gonna have to film it on the camera again. Ah! Run! I don't want Bonnie to die, at least not right now. I like Bonnie. Use a camera, use a camera! Quick! Oh no, he hooked her! A classic Dead by Daylight move. <laughs> Oh no! Don't die, don't die! Wait. Could we have saved her? How did she... How did she die? Like... Wasn't there a way to save her? I didn't get the option, guys. I didn't get any option to do anything differently. I'm guessing that's supposed to happen, but... That's kind of sad. It's not what happened. Uh, I say that never happened. That never happened. Never. I can't get any more of this. I, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get home. No. I feel like we're setting ourselves up for the bad ending at this rate. We're trapped in the room now. There's the arch nemesis, Augustine, showing us his film. I'm guessing something really bad happened to Bonnie on that screen. We didn't get to see it. It was too gruesome to show. Alright, so Robert and his dad, Sam, back in the 1980s, we were returning to the mill. That's where Chris and Jaime and I found a way into Frank's hideout and... That was from... I know. All right, let's go in. Let's try and save Bonnie. I think, like, their reality has been changed by what's happening with the film projection in the current day. It's very strange. Different timelines merging and stuff, like she talked about. Hopefully, we, as we've got our pistol, we can do some damage here. Stay right here until I come back. Do you understand? But, Dad... 
Do as you're told. Listen to your dad. For once. This would have all been avoided if you'd listened in the first place. Okay, we're playing as Sam again. I don't actually know if our gun's gonna come in much use now that, you know, Frank Stone's essentially like a, a spirit that's been resurrected. We need the camera to banish him, not the gun. Wait, what's that? Look. Look at what? Oh! Damn. Oh yeah, Bonnie's hung up. I mean, she's, she's probably dead, right? Why did you follow us? I, I told you. To... What? What happened? Wait, I'm coming with you. I gotta help. No, 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 Robert. Whatever's down there is too dangerous. I can't let you get hurt. I can't. But it's my fault. I got them in here. I. If you don't listen to me, I can't protect you. And I just can't trust that you're gonna listen to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's in no position to get testy with his dad <laughs> and to be like annoyed at his dad. He just like ignored his father constantly and now look at the situation we're in. Alright, let's do this. The nightmare repeating itself. I gotta find them. What is this? The camera? Ooh. Take that. <sighs> Those kids and their damn movie. Oh no. <gasps> the entity is scared of it. Linda. Okay. Let me see if I can see it. I don't see it. Oh man. Alright, I think we have to go through here, guys. No other options. Something about this camera. Maybe it's the key to all of this. We'll be okay. This isn't right. Let's keep our wits about us. It feels like he's here. Can I see anything? Alright, guys, we're just gonna keep the heck? It's gonna keep a camera in front of us at all times. Can we hop through here? <gasps> yes. Man, this is actually kind of scary. What the heck? It's detecting something, guys. What is that? What's it picking up? Oh, it's there! Shoot it! Quick! Shoot it! Nice. We got rid of him. We got rid of him. We're safe for now. Man, I'm actually kind of scared. Hop through here. I'm running. I'm getting out of here. I do not want to hang around to find out what the heck that thing wants to do to us next. I can hear some screams from over here. Linda. Where is she? I can hear her. What the heck? Oh! Oh my god. Destroy it! Destroy Frank Stone! Yes. Okay, let's find Linda. Where is she? Is she this way? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we made it. We made it to the room where she's being held, I think. You escaped Frank Stone in the storm drain. Fate changed. Nice. Oh man, she's been hacked. Can you stand? We gotta get out of here. Go. Get out. Wow, she's covered I'll in blood. Hopefully that's not all hers. Destroy it! 
Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Come on. That's it. Suck it in. Come on. Come on. Quick. Oh no, he's gonna ruin everything, isn't he? Stay back, son. I got him right where I want him. Suck him up. I swear if that kid does something to ruin it, I'll be angry. Come on. Suck up his essence. Something seems to be happening. Oh no, our, our camera's run out. Come on, quick, 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 quick. We've got to keep winding the camera while we, like, do this. Nice, okay, we did it again. It's working, it's working, it's working. That's right, get Linda out of there. I tried to make a little joke in that kind of situation. It was not the time to lighten the mood. Come on, Sam! We gotta do this! Hey, we did it! Nice! And now he's trapped in the camera. Right, that went better than I thought it was gonna go. Did we stop it? It's kind of expecting us to uh to die there. Is it is it is it over? No. There's still one thing left we gotta do. What's that? Destroy the camera? I mean, surely that's holding him prisoner. We don't want to destroy it, right? Oh, man, he's inside. Okay, where are we now? Back at the mansion? Yeah. The massacre at Garant Manor. That does not sound good. It does not sound good that we're going to have a massacre at the manor. It sounds like a lot of our characters are going to die, potentially. Oh, look. Yeah, he's, he's coming back into existence through the film. You got your damn movie. What more do you want? Oh no, he's coming through the screen. You, you lied to me. I did no such thing. Like hell you didn't. You promised me. It is no fault of mine if you misinterpreted what I promised you. My mom just died. You knew I was grieving and you took advantage of me. A traveler is only as strong as its vessel. You got a hell of a lot to answer for, and a lot of hell to pay! No, he's materializing through the screen! No! Chris! If we'd only given Chris the pendant, she might be safe. I don't want Chris to die now, I wish I'd given him the pendant. Right, we're gonna have to skill check this sucker. Maybe. Come on. Oh, gotta smash the X button. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, we saved her, we saved her, we saved her. I feel like we're about to get like the worst ending for this game. No! Save her! What are you people doing? Pull her away. 
quick. Okay, we did it, we did it, we did it. Oh no, now he's being grabbed. Someone needs to grab that camera. No, Sam. I don't want him to die. No, no one saved him. If only maybe we managed to loot his pouch successfully. And now he's out. This is like the worst ending possible, guys. What the heck? Run. Um, I feel like they're all just going to die now or something. No! He's been resurrected as a killer, so that's how the killers are born in the world of Dead by Daylight, guys. Or at least how this one was. She's like controlling him. Oh man, this is actually kind of cool. What? How are we going to defeat him though? Like it's not giving me control to do anything. I think we're screwed. Oh, he, Sam's become part of him. What the heck? Did you just kill Sam off inside him? Okay, we got out, we got out, we got out. Nice, they've each got out separate ways. This is fine. We can still salvage this. We can keep the remaining people alive, guys. Maybe. I feel like if we'd looted Sam's pouch earlier and got whatever was in that out, we might have sort of saved him Maybe somehow. I don't know. Shit. That's how we got down here. There has to be another way out. We can do this. I actually don't mind when some characters die, though, in these games, guys, work? because, must be losing it. you know, when you watch a horror you movie, of course, what? characters what? always what die, don't they? Back there? Yeah, believe me. I wish I knew. All right, through this door. Oh, look, a generator. If we can get that working, we could probably power the elevator. Let's try it. It's time to power up a generator again. Let's do it. Some Dead by Daylight action. Let's go. Come on. Are we going to have to skill check this sucker? Oh, great. Well, she's not good at skill checks. I think the generator still works, but it's missing some parts. Okay. Surprise, surprise. Let's find some parts then. Is that one? The heck is this? Issue date. The 17th of April 1960, G through renewal in 65. If this card is lost, stolen, or misplaced, report it immediately to the security office. Cedar Steel reserves the right to revoke security access at any time. Huh. So it's a security card. Can we not take that? Oh. Generator part? That's what we want. Uh, we need another part though. What about this? Yes, a cog. Let's go. All right, back to the generator. Let's fix this sucker up. Repair. See, I can hit the skill checks now when it's less important. Although if we blow the generator, we'll probably um, cause the killer to come and find us. So we do want to be careful. Nice, going well so far. Nice. Oh, it's getting faster now. Come on. Come on. Skill check. Yeah. One more. That's it. Let's go. Done. Okay, we repaired it and we did not draw the killer's attention. This is good. What's being powered up here? An elevator, maybe? Think that picks the elevator? find out okay let's go find out yes there it is now hopefully the killer doesn't come like up from the elevator <laughs> oh no now we need to go and get the camera oh god it's like the nemesis just bursting through a wall wait is she dead 
Surely not. Help Maddie go for the elevator. I'm gonna go for the elevator. Because Maddie's got a protective talisman. So, you know, I'm hoping that because she's got the protective talisman. No! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Holy moly, that's brutal. Should I have helped Maddie in that situation? Linda's dead. Oh my god, now I'm gonna die, aren't I? Unless I've got the pendant on so I'm protected. I don't know. I feel like I'm absolutely making the worst choices here. So Chris has gone back to the main room. Is she going to find a way to reverse all of this? Maybe we can save everybody's lives, like travel back in time and just reset it all. That could be a, a happy ending, right, still? What's she going to do? Is she going to walk through into the past? <gasps> she is. Oh. Shit. Maybe there's still a way to salvage this. I'm going to push through. I'm going back, guys. I'm going to try and salvage this. I'm worried I'm going to kill her in the process as well. This video is just going to be the most insane playthrough ever, where everyone dies. We got out of there, though, back to our actual time period. I feel like maybe it would have been a good idea to uh, reverse the projector first so we could have gone back to the start of the film. And then, you know, like, try to change the past. Oh, we're being carried by the killer. He hasn't killed us. Is he going to hook us? Hold still. Let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. <laughs> so we've gone back to Worth like before the events happened. All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay. Sound speeds. Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh. Uh. <laughs> that would be so weird. Is this going to change things for the better? Hopefully. Hopefully we can alter the past and make sure that the present doesn't happen now. This is getting really good. Frank Stone is finally the man he was meant to be. My champion. A killer worthy of the entity. The bleed between worlds is open, split apart by sacrifice and violence. All will be swallowed by the entity's power. And what of me? The one who served up this world for it to devour. I'll oblige as its faithful servant, existing only to drink in its knowledge, share in its glory. I am Augustine Lieber. And I have brought the entity to your world. That can't be the end, surely. I want to know what happens. Oh no, it's still going. She's probably wishing she hadn't done this now. I mean, surely, if she's got any common sense in her head. She's thinking, yeah, this wasn't the best idea, because look what's happened to the world. There's a fog coming out. The entity has arrived on Earth.
it's like the origins of Dead by Daylight, this this game. This is kind of cool, how it all came to be. All these lifetimes of toil and torment, all for this beautiful moment of sublime perfection. Almost unbearably so. Oh no, she, I bet he's gonna he's gonna hook her, isn't he? No, we've got the protective pendant on. Surely it's gonna protect us. No! No! Fascinating. Everyone dies in their own unique, lonely way. Like a fingerprint. But you and your mother seem to die very much the same. No. I bear to you. I want to save her. Offerings. I humbly await my reward for loyal service. She's gonna die a hundred percent now. <laughs> Screw you, you old hag. That's what you get. See that Frank Stone creature lives to serve the entity, not to serve. Augustine Libra, the demented woman. Oh no, we're gonna get taken! No, I didn't want her to die, man. I'm so sad. She's realizing she she messed up at this point. Yep, she's being taken as well. And what a, a depressing ending if this is the, the final part of the game, which it seems like it is. I want to know what happens with Chris in the past, though, if she can, like, revert this somehow. Hopefully we do get like to see what happens with Chris like if she can like reverse it Oh boy, this is just like a horrible ending I awake Unsure where I am. Oh, she's come back Then memory floods back and I know Our world is gone Consumed by a living realm beyond space beyond Thanks to me. So she created the world of Dead by Daylight from the, uh, you know, the multiplayer game. It's kind of cool to see the origins of like how the world was created and the lore. Oh, we move. We can move, guys. We're actually controlling the killer. No way. We're in. We're in first person, like in the game, playing as the killer. That's so cool. Oh, and there's a campfire. Wait. There. Uh, isn't that Dwight? Uh, like. Yeah, they're the Dead by Daylight characters that you can play as. I used to always main Whether Dwight. Killing or surviving, the entity will play with our souls for all eternity. An endless hunt of fear and hope. Pain and sacrifice from which even death is no escape. And now, let the trial begin. Oh man, so it leads right into the multiplayer game. Well, we've got a little cutscene after the credits, guys. Final cutscene. happens 
Someone's coming out. What the heck? Oh, she came back. What the heck? She always resurrects. Oh, and that's her as an old woman, I'm assuming. There's the Frank Stone puppets. Oh, he's come to life. That's kind of cool, guys, because even though it's a downer ending, you can see how it sets up Dead by Daylight. I'm not, like, really deep into the Dead by Daylight lore, but, but you know, from playing the game enough, I do get a lot of those references and seeing what it's doing there, and it's kind of clever how it, like, ties in to the multiplayer game, and it kind of explains it. So, yeah, that was cool, guys. I do wish we'd saved a few more lives. I'm assuming you can. Like, I'm assuming you can save the different people, at least some of them. Uh, we didn't get to see what happened with Chris when she went back in time, if she could maybe try and, like, reverse things. But I guess that would only be on one timeline, so it probably wouldn't work. Kind of got a, a bad ending all round, I think, there. Usually with these games, when I play them on the channel, like, I remember when we played The Quarry, did really well in that game, almost saved everybody. This has been the reverse of that. We had probably one of the worst endings I could have got there. But you know what? That sometimes happens in horror movies and horror games, right? So it's kind of fine. It's kind of fitting. And uh, we still got the full ending, which explained the, uh, you know, the outcome of Dead by Daylight and how that was born into this world. So yeah, I really enjoyed that, guys. And hopefully you've enjoyed my playthrough of the casting of Frank Stone. If you do want to check the game out, it's out right now. I do wish there was a bit more action earlier on. It was a bit slow paced at the start. But uh, once it got going, it really ramped up and the last sort of hour or so was like super exciting. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the whole playthrough on my channel. And obviously there are many different outcomes in this game. You can go back, you can replay certain parts, make different choices and see things unfold in a different way and get different endings. So this is just one of many possible outcomes. With that said guys, thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you all on the next one.